Don't forget that you have a rendezvous with Mr. Hendricks. Cool. Thanks, Belfry. Court took Hendricks. Suspicious activity reported. Officers advised to use caution. I hope that's Hendricks. We need officers near the Gotham Naval Research Facility. If the court's here, I bet Hendrix is somewhere close. That's strange. Guess they want to fight too. I had a feeling this day was coming. You wouldn't believe the things that I heard at the hotel. The court seems really big on secrecy. Shit, they're real? That explains the masks. Look, one of my guys was feeding them info. And you know what? You should probably have all the same intel, too. Wow, that's exactly what we needed. Thanks. This city is going to the birds, I swear.
Belfry, Hendrix gave me a data drive after getting rescued. Excellent. Please return to the Belfry so we can evaluate next steps. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Raish is... was a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. That is until he showed up. Bruce. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war and no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court, and we keep the League away from Gotham. I really miss him. Excellent. The drive Mr. Hendricks provided us contains exactly what we need. I've set up a safe house for Mr. Hendricks. His original one was compromised, but he'll be all right now. Glad to hear it.
You could visit him? I could what? He went to yours when... You could visit his grave. You haven't. I'm not the one staring at the... You know. Sometimes you're an idiot, Grayson. The voice of the Quartz Modulator is gonna be a pain to remove. I'll pull up some of Bruce's old files, see how he disguised his voice back in the day. I always figured Bruce just didn't like the masquerade because it was pretentious. He did always say he found it distasteful. But all this time, the Court of Owls... Bruce had good instincts. He just didn't know how good. Hey, big guy. You doing okay? Fine. What's up? Well, with all this talk of Lazarus pits and Dionysium, I... Like I said, fine. Jason, just let me be a good friend. I'm... handling it. Thanks for checking in, Babs. Police are investigating the involvement of one of Gotham's most notorious criminals after a recent riot at Blackgate Penitentiary. Harley Quinn, the psychiatrist turned felon and frequent rival of Batman, was reportedly seen at Blackgate during the riot, despite the fact that she is not currently an inmate. According to sources within Blackgate, Quinn had been quietly using the safety of a cell as a kind of base of operations, enabled by some well-placed allies within prison security. Authorities are now looking into whether Quinn incited the riot, and what motive she could have possibly had to do so. I'm Noor Rashid, and this is GCN. Hey, Babs, there's this awesome coding course on Tuesday afternoons at Gotham U. You in? Aw, can't, unfortunately. I have physio on Tuesdays. Okay, no sweat. Also, I already took that course last semester. Try to keep up, Tim. Hey, I would have enrolled then. 
if I was old enough. That didn't sound good. The lower back is not loving me. What are you doing when you're not out there kicking butt or in here working out? I guess I'm sleeping. Sometimes. Don't neglect the downtime, Babs. Muscles need time to rest, and so do you. Yeah. Thanks for the reminder. I always got your back. Lower back included. What you been reading lately? Commander's Honor. It's the latest in the Commander series. It's about a lone soldier who travels through time. I haven't seen that in the charts yet. Is it the British edition? Yeah. Isabel sent it to me from London. Won't be out here for months. Lucky you dating someone who travels so much. We're not dating anymore. We just keep in touch and exchange books. Receiving books from an ex you're still friends with. That is so sweet. The light in here really sets a mood. Makes me want to take a selfie in the belfry. A belfry. Uh... What? Robin makes puns. It's part of the job description. I mean, he's right. It's like half the gig. Know what this place needs? A cat. Listen, Grayson. If you're scared of some mouse you saw scurrying, I'll keep you safe. Very funny. But, uh, yeah, I, I definitely did. So, cat? Alfred? Richard? know more than anyone that being a leader has a cost. You needn't shoulder it all alone. 
I don't know what you're talking about. You know, at times, you can be much like Bruce. I'm nothing like him. <clears throat> of course not. So, unlike him, you would never push through an injury. I'm fine. <clears throat> See? Knowing when to take the help that's offered is a sign of a good leader. I was watching you fight the other night, and I was thinking... You were, huh? I could show you a few moves. You know, original Robin stuff. Original ain't always the best, Grandpa. Nightwing is apparently the sexiest vigilante, according to the Gotham Times. Really? No, Dick, that's not a thing. This isn't Blasby. We could make it a thing. Yeah. I got ideas already. What have I done? I was thinking we could expand our protocols. You know, add a Sigma protocol or something. Of course. You know, like something in case we needed a snack. As you're all adults, one might assume you could feed yourselves. But you know, just in case Tim wasn't eating. I'm, I'm just worried about Tim. I know this ruse. You'd like me to prepare a grilled cheese for you. I don't know what it is, Alfred. It's better when you make it. Well, since you asked so nicely. But only because it's for Master Tim. Of course. I'll just be there if he has leftovers.
Belfry, I'm at the Orchard Hotel. The balcony door should be open. That's your entry point. A penthouse? Come on. You could appreciate the lengths I go to for you a little more, sir. Belfry, I'm in. Time to listen in on some owls. Find out who's who. You could probably eavesdrop from the ballroom if you can find a good vantage point. Just make sure no one sees you. There's nothing there. And they saw me. Awesome. This must be the entrance. Why else would they put this here? Then with your stupid theory, you saw the elevator. The hotel doesn't have a 13th floor. Spooky. <laughs> we'll impress the voice tonight, I'm sure. <laughs> Belfry, the security systems are down. Good work. And remember, those guards out there are actually court members. Don't hesitate to take them down. That's what I like to see. There we go. A way in. Belfry? I'm heading inside the ballroom. Nice. Who, who's a member of the Court of Owls? Be careful and record everything you can hear. I thought I told you that formal wear was required this evening. This is formal wear. Did you hear about Langstroth's assistant? He deserved to be let go. Just like Kirk, people forget their place. The voice remembers. Where is the voice? Is this all they could muster for the great Bruce Wayne? It's embarrassing. When I go, it'll be a spectacle. Fireworks, dancers, ice sculptures, the works. <laughs> Look at this. Even in death, Wayne tries to outdo us. Let him have his final hurrah. After tonight, it won't be a problem. You're right. His death ought to be a celebration. What do you think this is? That's a few matches. We're gonna get them all. Did you sign the guest book? How could I not? I've got people to impress. Did you see some of the names in there? I 
did. Senators, judges, CEOs, even the mayor's here. Have you been to the hotel's east staircase? The one they sealed off? There, it's haunted. That's what I heard too. Strange noises, almost cries, and scratches in the walls. Ugh. What do you mean you won't see me? I'm the goddamn mayor! I'm afraid his schedule won't permit it. You tell Colonel Kane that I won't be frozen out. My office demands respect. Of course it does, Mayor Sai. I'll relay your message. Hard to believe Bruce Wayne is gone. I know. I was hoping to be a state this year. Business is good. Great evening. This would give the rest of us such a kick in the pants. Sorry to interrupt, but it's time. Ah, of course. We'll have to continue this later. Not so easy to hide now, is it? to present our host for the evening. Jeez, have a little subtlety. That's gotta be the voice of the court. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity, a brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. That's a match. Holy crap, that really is the voice of the court. Awesome. If you follow him, we might be able to figure out who he is. Sir, the labs are requesting more Dionysium to meet their production deadline. I'm aware. Arrangements are being made. Let them know that I expect the quota to be met. No excuses. Thank you, sir.
arrangements made? If it pleases the court. Excellent. I'll see you downstairs. disappeared in an elevator. I lost him. I lost him too. He was between floors when the signal went out. Nightwing, we just found a hidden 13th floor in the hotel blueprints. Maybe that's where the voice went. What was it? D minor followed by... Ah, never mind. Secret 13th floor, here I come. Belfry, I got a door here. Definitely court branded. Understood. Tread carefully. What the Court of Owls has to hide. Where'd you go, Mr. Voice? Belfry, any thoughts on where I can find the voice? Belfry? And comms are cut off. Great. What might be trying to sneak up and strike? That's the old voice of the court. On vinyl. While we walk the halls of power with our heads held high. Our true purpose hides inside the walls around us. Our court whispering into each other's ears like Cyrano on a date with destiny. What have we got here? Sorry to cut your meeting short, people. Now, what exactly were you looking at? Operations compromised. 
found to be moonlighting for cockroaches. We eliminated him. Our allies... We were right. The court had Langstrom killed. This briefing could do some real damage to the court if we can get it to the authorities. But there's still plenty to clean. Destroy everything. Make it so Langstrom never existed. We must send a message. You are only an owl of the court. So long as you remain loyal to the court. Everyone named here. All these people are either dead or missing. This must be a hit list. This is a history of Gotham's architecture. I guess the court was involved in all of these buildings. City Hall. has something to do with the dates on that wall. Huh. These numbers must be the years the buildings were constructed or renovated. By the court, naturally. That's the Gotham Cathedral. This is the courthouse. sense. Different types of power in the city. The court would want to control that. Of course. I should have known it was evil.
It's high time we talk. Let's get this over with. So you made it here, all by yourself. I'm not letting you or the court destroy Gotham. Destroy Gotham? Now we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. Yeah, sure. You're just like every other masked villain. I'm not the one wearing a mask. Richard. Jacob Kane. But how did you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just... our court is quieter about it. People of Gotham may not be perfect, but they don't deserve this. You're destroying the city, not saving it! Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends, the same enemies. It's madness. You're not serving us. I don't murder people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. You killed Kirk Langstrom and his assistant. That doesn't help Gotham. That helps you. Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce used his money to fight for this city. You used it to help yourself. Bruce would have hated you for that. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. We are nothing alike, Kane. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. Security breach! We're under attack in the ballroom! They came out of nowhere! Clearly I have bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next.